Hey guys, this is Kevin. Today I'm going to show you step by step how to convert a Epson Eco Tank from regular ink to sublimation ink. You can see it already have uh, original Epson ink in it, and uh, today we're going to substitute the regular ink with a sublimation ink. Here's what we need. We need a regular screwdriver. It's a Philip number two screwdriver, pretty popular, so I bet you will have one at home. And then you need a really sharp knife or like a box cutter or like a razor blade. And then you need a really fat syringe. You can have a 10 mil syringe, but I suggest 50 mil. Uh, I'm going to put uh, the link to the syringe to the link above. So if you need one, uh, you can get it from there. If you have your old used uh, Eco Tank bottle, don't throw it away, just save it. Uh, but, but however, if you don't have it, don't worry, it's not critical. I'll show you uh, to refill with and without uh, the original bottle. And of course, you need the ink. Uh, I'm going to put uh, the link to the sublimation ink above. And of course, a pair of gloves and uh, some uh, paper towel. And also, you need a big jar of um, either a beaker or something to catch the uh, waste ink. Open the printer, you're going to find that the printer is locked. So move the printer to the right and then turn this wheel counterclockwise. Do it three times, and then you can free the printhead. We're going to suck ink out of the, the printer's damper. Every time we, we suck ink, we need to make sure that uh, those levers are open. The dampers are pretty easy to remove. Just uh, put a tab in and uh, lift it up. Now we need to modify our syringe a little bit. And then you can do this with a 10 mil or, or 50 mil. It, it doesn't matter. And just use a knife. Just cut a little piece out from the, the, from the tip. We're going to insert this tip into the damper. And uh, this tip going to push the seal into the damper. So we don't want uh, the tip to be uh, completely flat. It doesn't matter how little it is, as long as it is not perfect flat, that's fine. And also don't cut it too much because later on we're going to attach a syringe to it. Now we're going to push the syringe in and uh, start sucking. The ink is going to flow from the tank to the tube, but then to the damper, and uh, then suck into the syringe, and then we discard the, the ink. We're going to put the damper on a piece of paper so it won't contaminate others. Now we're going to add the ink to the black. Let's take a closer look of the ink intake. The ink intake is divided into two parts in the middle. I found out it's easier to just stick a needle and uh, use the upper part to refill. Oh, I forgot. Uh, before you uh, suck the ink into the syringe and uh, make sure that you shake the bottle uh, 10 times uh, before you use the ink. After you fill up the black and uh, you're going to suck the ink from the damper again, just make sure the damper, uh, the, the new ink replace the old ink in the black. And uh, before you ins uh, insert it, make sure you take out the yellow f out first, then you insert the black one. Do the same thing for the yellow one. Suck off the old ink. Add a sublimation ink to the tank. Then draw ink from the damper until the damper is full of the new ink. And uh, repeat the same thing for magenta. Get the ink out. Add ink to the tank. And the prime. Uh, just show you, if you save your old ink bottle, for example, I got a bottle of magenta, a uh, magen no, no, bottle of uh, sand, and uh, you can just pour the ink into the bottle and uh, use the bottle to refill it. People sell the empty unused bottle on eBay, I think it's like a $28 something a set. Uh, however, um, if you just uh, need a bottle, you can get a dirty bottle from us uh, sometimes. If we have uh, like uh, things we can throw away, uh, recycle, you can, you can see if we have them. Okay, uh, you can go to bchtechnologies.com 
and go to accessories. Oh, I can't find it. Just uh, just type in the word a dirty bottle. And there it is. So you get uh, four empty square bottles, uh, exactly like the new bottles you get from eBay, but uh, you have to wash it. Uh, just text the word dirty to this number, and I'll text you back with the link to the, to the bottles. Those bottles face most of uh, at the new Epson EcoTanks uh, 502, 522 without any problem. And uh, most of you have problem to put this piece back. If you don't put this piece back correctly, it's going to make a lot of noises. First, tuck those uh, tubes in. Make sure they stay flat. Uh, don't pay attention to this hole. Uh, it's kind of useless. We're going to focus on this hole and this hole. You're going to feel a tap there, so push the, uh, the hole into the tab and also do the same uh, to the front one. When the two of them are in the hole, you can slide the, the clear tape to your left and make sure it's secured in there. See, this is how it's done. Most of you don't have problem with the conversion. Uh, your problem is uh, what to do after the conversion. So you should go to maintenance and uh, go to head cleaning. Let's just do one head cleaning first. At the end, it's going to ask you if you want to print a nozzle check and say yes. You can see on the top of the nozzle, the black nozzles, and uh, something is screwy and on the bottom too. So we need to do another cleaning. It's going to ask you, uh, do you have uh, missing lines? And uh, say yes. And then hit this button to continue cleaning. Do not start using the printer unless, uh, until you get a perfect nozzle check. Do up to six cleanings to or till you get a good nozzle check. And also, Every third cleaning after it's done, you go back to home, then, then reselect maintenance and the, the printer will not think you have a bad print ad. Okay, the second cleaning was perfect, but we're not done yet. Uh, we're going to print 10 copies of uh, some dark image so we can use up the old ink in, inside the print ad. You can see at the beginning it was okay and we see the black colors. And after four or five pages, the black color is completely gone. And uh, uh, when we print a nozzle check, you can see the nozzle check is horrible. Uh, don't panic, this is a good thing. Uh, this means the old ink is completely gone. So we'll go back to do the cleaning again. Do it until it's perfect. Every three times, don't forget to Go back to the home menu, then uh, come down, reselect uh, the head cleaning. And uh, you should do a total of six times the first day with 12 hours, then do six more times. I'm going to use this image that my friend sent. Here's what she said in the email. She said it's the fifth day of war, and it's awful. Russians bomb us all day, all night. They bomb houses, kindergartens. We are in the basement and go out only for 10 to 20 minutes a day to take everything from house or take a shower. I cannot stop crying. I hope to get back to work as soon as possible. I know US and uh, Europe support us. So we select a file print, then we'll go to print setting. And here, quality we should set to high. And then go to the second tab, go to more options, and uh, deselect high speed, and uh, click mirror image. So if it's mirrored, you don't have to flip the image on the, in the Photoshop. I said print. Sublimation paper is going to have a coated side and the print side. Uh, if your paper is not marked, the like salmon or blue color side is not coated side. You should print on the white side. When you print the sublimation, the color is really dull. It's weird. The color is totally off. 
uh, so do not judge the color by how it prints. The reason is the color need to be heat trans transformed to show the true color. You can see the color is not bright, and if you see the black print, the black should have some of the uh, it look like a brownish black, not a real pure black. Because our print have lots of blacks, I'm going to use a little bit of higher, higher temperature. When you print a, a pure black, if you do not supplement, uh, temperature is not uh, high enough, uh, the turnout will be brownish. However, if you heat it for too long, it's also going to be brownish. So you have to find uh, the happy medium in the middle to make a pure black. So I select a higher temperature, a little bit shorter time. Uh, for the first press, I'm going, I need to heat up the, uh, the foam on the bottom. So I, without putting anything on, and uh, I just run an empty run, so the plate will heat up the, the bottom. Now the bottom is heat up, I will just put the fabric on the, uh, on the platform and do a quick two, three seconds uh, quick press. What this does is uh, it remove all the wrinkles. Now it's time to add the paper and do it for real. Okay, let's see. Uh, this is the reason that you need to uh, check for wrinkles before you press. <laughs> a different color going to supplement at a different rate. So your goal is find that the the temperature and the time combination that have all the colors sublimated. Also, if you sublimit too long, or the temperature is too high, you're going to burn some color off. Another thing is uh, different material going to behave differently under different angle of light. So you have to look at your print at all angles. And uh, there are some cases that there's, it's just impossible to get everything right. For example, this one I emphasize on the black. You can see uh, the black is spot on. And to be to achieve that, I did burn off some of the magenta. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.